do so. We want to get back to that tattooing, man. Where you got that first, the inspiration to get the tatting business? Because you just don't, you know, you don't run across here anybody that just say, man, I'm doing tattoos full time. Yeah, honestly, bro, it was like I was getting tatted. So, like, that shit, like, it just sparked the interest. Like, I wanted to get tatted. So, when the tattoo shit, niggas start seeing me get tatted, they was like, bro, you could draw. You might as well start trying to do your own shit. And they just kicked off from there. Man, it's always, it always be like that. Somebody kind of see it in you before you see it yourself, man. They kind of say, hey, man, go on, give it a try. So yeah. what were some of those what were some of those mistakes you made early on when you were doing tattoos? Because I know you kinda like jumped out there, jumped off the porch and just kinda started doing it yourself. So what were some of the mistakes that you made early on that you probably won't be making anytime soon? Only thing I could think of, bro, really is the the running my machine too fast and uh using like bullshit ass equipment. That's that's really it. Running your machine too fast and using bullshit equipment like some Chinese shit, like some cheap shit, some starter kit shit. Yeah, it always be like that, man. It always be, you know, when you first start off, you don't know what you need and you don't know what you don't know. So it's always kind of like you had to get that experience. So, you know, over time, you gradually start investing in yourself. And I always tell people it's always good to invest in yourself, man. And I know that's something that you've been doing, man. You've been definitely investing in yourself because I've been seeing the brand been growing, you know, since day 